This is about um, men sweet talking women and it's a video I was going to make and someone left some comments on one of my videos about how women don't owe men sex. And yes, there are some men who've gotten really good at the game of sweet talking a woman because it does work. It really works. A guy says all these sweet things and you believe him and you get pulled in because you're a trusting person. You don't know that it's a game that they play. And so I like to think of these guys as being like balloons full of air. All they have is air. There is no power behind it. Like a man with power is more like a basketball. There's power. You know, there's power. It can bounce. It can, it's, it's consistent. Um, whereas a guy who just talks, he's just got a bunch of air. He just speaks, you know, and his words just poof. And pretty soon the, the balloon is deflated. There's nothing left of him. So it's really important to use discernment and to watch a man's actions and not his words. Okay, watch a man's actions. What do I mean with that? Is he setting up dates with you? Is he consistent? Does he keep his word? Is he, look for consistency, look for keeping his word, look for him to keep moving things forward and look for how you feel around the way that he acts. Do not get caught in by words. I got a little bit caught in by words the other day, but now mine doesn't last for more than a day. But it happened. So there was a gentleman, um, not my type, but um, he was a little bit younger. I met him on the online dating site and he reached out to this with this very nice message. Like, oh my God, I just want to spoil you and like the goddess that you are. I'm like, hmm, some of these younger guys do think of me as a goddess they want to spoil. I've experienced that. So I'm like, hmm, he's not that my type, but hmm, I'd like to be spoiled like the goddess that I am. Why not? <laughs> and I came back and I said, well, you're not exactly my type. Because he's more like darker skinned and I like white guys. Um, and he said, well, you said in your profile between the ages of 30 and 45, tall and athletic, that's me. So he was really trying to convince me to like him. Like he was really laying it on, you know, like give me a chance. And I said, yeah, but I like white guys. And he goes, well, I'm Italian. And so, and I'm trying to be like a little more open-minded. I thought, well, I should give this guy a chance. Maybe I'm too closed off, you know? So I said, hmm, I'm, I see I'm opening to some possibilities. I think I said that. He goes, great, great. I would like to take you out to dinner sometime soon. Now that's already a little bit of a red flag sometime soon. He's already, that's not showing up. A guy showing up is saying, I'd love to take you to dinner. Um, are you free Friday night? He didn't say that. I'd like to take you to dinner sometime soon. Hmm. He's already, that's weak. That's very weak. Okay. So I said, how about a video call first? And he goes, oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. But he didn't ask for when. So I thought, I'll kind of give him a little help here. But he's got to, he's got to set the date, okay? Because I'm looking, I'm screening for men who will lead, not men who need to be pursued, okay? I like to be pursued. But I'm also responsive and available. So I said, how about, oh, I said, I'm usually free in the early evening. Um... So, because right now I have my son visiting, which is why I have all these videos I'm doing in different places. And I wasn't really sure what he and I would be doing in the evening. So I didn't want to, like, say what days and times. But I thought he would suggest some days and times. So I said, I'm usually free in the early evening. I think I said in the early evening tomorrow. I'm free in the early evening tomorrow, I think I said. And he replied with, okay, it's a date. I didn't see that until later because I was really tired. This was nine, nine o'clock at night and I was already really tired. So I, I told him early evening and I went to sleep. I was just so tired. I was, I was like, I should reply to this guy. You know, I want to keep the conversation going, be responsible. I was so tired. I was just falling asleep. So the next day I wake up and I see he said, okay, it's a date. 
and I'm thinking, we don't have a date. A date is, how about six o'clock tomorrow? We're gonna have a Zoom call or Android video call or whatever. Okay, it's a date is very weak. I want you to see this is weak, 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 weak. And I'm just feeling his deflated energy, like there's no dick game, there's no dick power, there's no power in it. And I like a man, I like power in a man. So I'm teaching you here. Um, so I'm trying to see if I can salvage this deal because <laughs> I'm experimenting with my dating stuff. So I said, I'm thinking that's not a date, you know, but I don't want to tell him, be all critical and put him down and be all judgy. So I'm trying to find a way to say it nicely. And I said, I texted him back on the app and I said, doesn't feel like a date to me um, a date a date has a specific time to it I like the man to lead never heard from him all day never heard from him all night never heard from him at all so nine o'clock last night I said lame we are not a match I know I said lame, lame, period, best wishes to you. And he never replied. He never replied. So today I just blocked him. But see how this guy went from, I want to spoil you like the goddess that you are, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm your type. I want to take you to dinner soon. Oh, it's a date for the video call. And he was full of, he was just a deflated poof of air. Now, a guy like that, I think he was 37, never been married, no kids. A guy like that could easily end up in his 50s and 60s, never married, no kids, because he's lacking the power. He's, he's just got a bunch of words, but the words don't match his inner energy. He doesn't know how to show up. He's got some issues. I mean, we all have issues, but this guy has relationship issues. Um, on the plus side, I did have, um, when it came to all the, all the, well, I had video calls with two men in their 20s. I've had video calls with four or five men in their 50s, one in his 60s. I have had video calls, and I want to say all these gentlemen that showed up on the video calls were on time. They showed up on the call. They were ready to talk to me. None of them were drinking any alcohol. And they were um, very polite, very respectful. I told them all that I have a porn page, that I'm an escort, that I'm actually 59 and not whatever age I put on the dating app. They were all very respectful. No one asked me any sexual questions. They were just having like a conversation. They thought I was interesting and we were having an interesting conversation. I learned a lot about them and their businesses and their thoughts and I had a really good time and I just have a little bit of wine when I talk to them so it's been really fun yesterday I had a video call with a gentleman for an hour and a half he was very interesting um, he had lived before in an area where people are like very family oriented and three like uh, three generations live in a house. He's like, Americans are like so into their money and going to work. And he goes um, in this on this island where he lived. Um, he uh, people lived all in three generations. And if someone in the family was sick, they would just call into work and tell him, I'm not coming in today. I've got a family member who's sick, <laughs> you know. Um, and he really liked, you know, I learned something interesting. I learned from another gentleman about the real estate market. I um, learned from another gentleman about his um, horrid ex-wife, you know. So the video calls have been really fun. And so I just want to end with that because that experience I had with a younger man not being lame was the only one I had. But he was the only one that started out with these really strong messages. The guys who showed up on the video calls didn't come on with this goddess talk. So I think you want to look out for guys who come in right out of the gate promising you, you know, they're going to treat you like a goddess and you're so beautiful. Because realistically, a man that's legit is going to pursue you, but he's not going to give you all that flowery language right off the bat. 
his words have to match his actions. Don't tell me you're going to treat me like a goddess. Treat me like a goddess by setting up a date and setting up a video call and showing up. The guys that are full of air, I guess I'm going to summarize it now. The guys that are full of fluff use their words in place of their actions. So if a guy is saying, I'm going to treat you like a goddess, think, do I feel like he's treating me like a goddess? Do I feel that way? Or is that just what he's telling me and the words are generating a feeling is it what he's doing that's generating the feeling? Watch what they do. Watch what they do. Um, that's my tip for words, not actions. Screen men for words, not actions. And thanks for watching my video.